critical race theory is basically saying some are oppressors, some are oppressed. Let's have a conversation about critical race theory. But first, I'm going to challenge you to detach emotionally, reason objectively, and do not get politically charged. This is bigger than politics. This is about humanity. And this isn't about your feelings. This is about facts. Critical race theory does not teach one group of kids that they're oppressors and the other group of kids that they're the oppressed. Critical race theory does not perpetuate the victim mindset that most people talk about. You can be a victim of an unjust system and overcome it at the same time. Both can be true. Personal accountability and advocating against an unjust system are not mutually exclusive ideas. Let's look at the criminal justice system, which I consider to be the epicenter of systemic racism through the black experience. Up until 1865, our prison system was mostly filled with white vagabonds, poor white people, the outcast of society. 1865 happens the abolishment of slavery. The 13th Amendment is the abolishment of slavery except when punishable by a crime. Crime became the loophole to legalize slavery. Slave labor became such an integral part of the southern economy that when we abolished slavery, we needed a replacement. Just five short years later, 1870, we have the birth of the Black Codes. The Black Codes were created in the South. Black people were arrested and placed in chain gangs for not having jobs when no white folks would give them a job, for being out past curfew, for loitering in the street, for essentially just being black. This was the first wave of mass incarceration. Fast forward 100 years and you have the Jim Crow era. Black people were arrested or unalive for whistling, for sitting in the wrong seat on the bus, for drinking from the wrong water fountain, for eating at the wrong restaurant, or for being on the wrong side of the railroad tracks. 64 and 65, you had the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act. This shifted the political landscape. We had the increase in law enforcement spending and the decrease in school funding, which created the school to prison pipeline. We had the war on drugs in the 1986 Anti-Drug Abuse Act. And then we had the 94 Crime Bill. And yes, I'm aware that Joe Biden sponsored the 94 crime bill. I'm also aware that he called black people super predators. But again, this is not about politics. This is about us being willing to look at the system through a different lens. This is for all the people that say, just don't commit crime. Or it's because of the culture of the fatherless homes. I challenge you to look at the last 400 years of our system and how it impacted the black communities. Rob them of generational wealth. Place many black leaders in prison and silence their voice or unalive them. I challenge you to see how the residual effects are impacting the system today. And if you're white and experience the injustices of the system, know that you became collateral damage in a system that was not even designed for you. In the age of colorblindness, the system devours the poor. And as Brian Stevenson said, wealth, not culpability, shapes justice in America. Racism is the birth child of classism and the methodology that keeps us divided.